Hi everyone, this is Alexis from Pear Tree Education. I write on the blog inquiryintoeducation.com and I'm also the academic director at Pear Tree Education. This week, I'm doing a follow-up video to the book I reviewed last week, The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. This is a teacher guide video with critical activities to do with the book. The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed was written and illustrated by Mo Willems. This is a delightful picture book about a naked mole rat named Wilbur, who, unlike the rest of his naked mole rat community, prefers to wear clothes. The other naked mole rats try to tell Wilbur that naked mole rats simply don't wear clothes, to which he responds, why not? In their frustration, they decide to take Wilbur to Grandpa Mole, the oldest, greatest, most naked mole rat ever, presumably in hopes that he'll straighten Wilbur out and help him to conform to their naked ways. Grandpa surprises the colony with his proclamation when he states that he never thought about wearing clothes until he heard Wilbur's question of why not. The story ends with some naked mole rats wearing clothes, some naked mole rats remaining naked, but all of them having a good time and being happy. I've used this book as a resource to delve into peer pressure, conformity, and dominant social norms. The first activity you could do with this book is called Hot Seat. An important element of critical literacy is to consider multiple perspectives, and this activity requires students to think from the perspective of different characters in the book. It especially pushes children to think about giving in to conformity. It's very easy to label the other naked mole rats who don't think for themselves as the bad guys, but unfortunately, we ourselves give in to conformity and follow dominant social norms without even realizing it. To get ready for this activity, set up three hot seat chairs in the front of the room, and appoint three children to take the hot seats. Then, pick three characters from the book and assign them to each of the children. I chose Wilbur, the main character in the book, Grandpa Naked Mole Rat, and just another naked mole rat, one to represent those who blindly follow what others do. Tell the three children in the hot seats that they are no longer themselves, but they are now transformed into those characters. They have to think and respond to questions as if they were the characters they were appointed. The remaining students act as the audience, and their job is to ask the characters in the hot seat critical questions. For example, why do you choose to follow everyone else instead of thinking for yourself? And were you frightened to do something different from everyone else? The students in the hot seats need to respond as if they were the characters and are therefore forced to consider multiple perspectives. Alternatively, if your class is younger, or perhaps not as experienced with asking critical questions, you can brainstorm critical questions as a class and discuss possible answers first before doing hot seat. When the question was raised as to why people often just do what others are doing and don't go against what is normal, my students said it's scary and hard to stand up for yourself. A different activity you could do with your students would be a tableau. A tableau is a still scene which captures an element of the story or the story's theme. After reading the book and having a critical discussion about peer pressure and conformity, put your students into small groups of three or four people. They can do a tableau either of a scene from the picture book, or you can challenge them to do a tableau capturing the theme of peer pressure or self-empowerment. The actual preparation for the tableau shouldn't take more than three to five minutes. Remind the students that every member of the group needs to have a part in the tableau, even if they're just a rock or a tree. Props are not allowed in tableaus and everything needs to be represented through the students in some way or another. Next, when every group is ready, have the students sit in a circle. Then, call up groups to perform their tableau in the middle of the circle. As a teacher, you would do a countdown, three, two, one, and then call freeze, and they will hold their scene in their positions. The audience can observe the tableau for about 10 seconds and move around if it's necessary for them to see facial expressions and so on. After they unfreeze, have the audience infer and discuss what they believe the group was presenting. They can also ask the group questions if necessary. Tableaus are great because even students who are shy are generally able to take part in tableaus because there isn't a speaking component. Tableaus can be modified for children as young as kindergarten and can be done up to high school. The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed is a great book to inquire into topics such as peer pressure and conformity. I've used this book with kindergarten students and students in grade 7 with great success and when done with activities such as hot seat or a tableau, you can really dig deep into the topic this book presents instead of just reading it as a cute story. If you've enjoyed this teacher guide video, you may be interested in watching my book review video for The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. Please also look at our website www.inquiryintoeducation.com for extra details about critical drama activities such as tableaus and hot seat. This is Alexis from inquiryintoeducation.com. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.